Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell, we're going to be fixing this situation right here. I don't even know what to do with my hair anymore these days. Um, but stay tuned because in a couple weeks, this is getting a complete transformation. I'm getting my hair done in two weeks and I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm getting done. But I'm going to obviously film the results. Uh, so I'm super excited. I don't know. Hopefully it'll just refresh this hair because it's been like this. Just long and dark and boring for the past three years, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I've played around with some like reddish tones in it and stuff and like mostly dark colors and whatever highlights you see coming through are just like what naturally comes through. But I digress. This video is not about my hair. That's obviously coming up soon. This is just to get ready with me, chit chat. I'm just going to talk, give you guys some updates. Um, but I'm just going to basically do like my everyday normal fall makeup. So I'm looking like a bum. It's fine. We're just going to like the grocery store uh, today. I have to clean the house. Um, that's basically it. I am off today. I don't have work, so that's why um, it's just like a random day off. So I'm just going to start off by... Um, I already washed and moisturized my skin, by the way. Um, if you want to see what kind of skincare products I use on my skin, I'll have some links up here to those videos. Um, but I'm just going to basically start with my Morphe palette. I usually fill in my brows first. I don't know why that's usually just like the process I do. I just do my brows first, then I do my eyes, and then I assess what my face needs after that. Um, if you hear my dog click clacking in the background, obviously he knows the camera's on and he's like, it's showtime, uh, cause he thinks it's all about him. Love that. He's a star. Uh, so yeah, I just take two dark shades. You can see where I hit pan on the shade where I use mostly for my eyebrows. And then I just sweep them through. If they're looking a little heavy, a little dark, that's fine. I'd rather that because then I can just go through and blend it out. Um, yeah. And then I just take whatever's left on my brush to fill in the like first half of my brow. And then I just comb it through, see if I need to go back in anywhere. Um, so, uh, some wedding updates. Your girl found her dress. She found the dress. Like, this dress is made in my dream. Like, I could not have designed this dress better if I tried. It is my dream dress. It has everything I've always wanted, all in one. It's incredible. It's gorgeous. I'm not going to describe it because sometimes my fiance watches my videos. Um, and I don't want him to know anything about it. I think he kind of knows what my style is. He has like ideas, but it's, he's a man. He's not going to be able to like visualize what, what it looks like. I think he like knows kind of like a basic style of what I like. Um, all I will say it makes the booty look good, girl. It makes the booty look good. It makes my whole body look good. Like, I was made for this dress. Um, and I just cannot wait for it to be, like, sized and fitted to me. So I can really see it on me, like, true to size. Um, because, you know, when I was there, obviously they had to clip the back because it was a little big. Um, the one dress I tried on, it was amazing and it was a close second. I had some features that I just wasn't sure about and for that reason I was like it's a it's a beautiful dress it fit me perfectly that was the thing it fit me to a T it, it looked like it was already meant to fit me I could have walked out of there and worn it all my day that's how well it fit I just wasn't sold on like 
just some of the features. It, it was a close second. It was very similar to the one I chose. Um, but it was just, there was something about it I didn't like as much as the other one. So it was just a done deal for the other dress that I chose. It's amazing. I love it. I cannot wait to wear it. I am sad that I can only wear it once. Um, but yeah, I have a beautiful veil that goes with it. And now I just have to find shoes and like accessories and stuff. I already know the necklace I'm wearing, um, but I have to find out. I have to pick out like what earrings I'm going to wear. Um, probably not any like arm jewelry because I don't usually wear bracelets. It's just not me. But um, yeah, and then shoes like to find the right heel because uh, me and my man are four inches apart. I'm like 5'4 and he's 5'8, five 5'9. Five um, so like I can't wear high, high heels and I don't want to anyway because um, our location is like I would be taking photos in the grass and stuff like that, like the ceremonies outside, we're going to be meeting outside, I just want to be comfortable, you know what I mean? I'm not the type to like throw on flip flops, like no offense to anyone who does, it's just I want to wear the shoes I'm wearing all night, like it's a six hour day, it's not that bad, I've worn heels for like eight to ten hours sometimes, I don't know. Um, but it's not that bad. Okay, so I've been reaching for like these top shades here for my eyes. I'm just going to grab like this orangey one and then just like this light brown. And then I just dust that all over my lid, going into the crease. But yeah, I've been keeping this makeup very fresh, very fall and warm. And then I just bring down the excess underneath and kind of go like halfway and blend it out. So yeah, just take that orange shade, the light, light nudish brown, and sweep that all over. But yeah, that was like the last main thing for the wedding that needed to be done. Uh, right now anyway, we're not even a year out yet. And we have all the big things booked and ready to go. So I'm really excited. A year goes by fast, so I'm not even worried about like, I don't know, like it taking so long because like this year just flew by. So I can just see this year, this next year, like just flying by. So I'm just trying to enjoy it. Um, if there's any like bride to be, brides to be out there, let me know how you like fully enjoy the process. Like if I should be doing anything or if I should su subscribe to those like Miss to Mrs. boxes. I feel like I feel like those are just dumb. But um, if there's like cool things that you guys recommend for like couples to do or like for a bride to be to do to just enjoy the, the engagement process more, definitely share those down below. Um, I'm just going to take a like eyeshadow brush and just dip it into. We're gonna take like this gold shade here. Not like really gold. It's actually more like a metallic brown. I'm just going to pat that on the inner part of my lid. That's as glitzy as we're getting today. Just to give it a little bit of baboom. Other than that, I started, or I'm going to be starting, uh, a new job. So post-grad, got my first, not my first, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I got like the first post bachelor grad job um so i start that on monday i'm really excited it's i'm a marketing coordinator so i am going to be starting like a job that's basically in the field that i want um and i'm just excited for the opportunities and um you know just seeing where this position will take me so yeah, it's obviously a full-time job. I was mostly doing like part-time jobs in the past. Um, I had like a couple of full-time jobs, but I mean, they never had benefits attached or like great pay because I didn't really have the degree for it. Um, but yeah, so also another exciting thing is I'm now a Pilates instructor. So I mean, I've been doing Pilates for like 10 years with my mom. She's an instructor. I've been doing it for as long as she's been teaching since I was like 13 or 14. I've been taking classes and I've rarely missed any. Like I've been a dedicated student. I've 
learned so much from her um, and now I'm finally teaching like extremely part-time it's like two hours a week uh, if that um, teaching at a new studio that I'm at and I am teaching Pilates classes so that's really exciting because obviously down the road if I am like completely certified I actually want to get reformer certified that could be an, a career in and of itself down the road but you know right now I'm just doing the normal nine to five route with you know just doing these fun things that I enjoy doing um, part time so yeah two basically new jobs wedding stuff is great um, I mean that's basically the, the only new stuff going on um, which is pretty good considering that this year has been a complete shit show um, so any like you know exciting things that I can get I will take uh, this isn't it funny. I'm like sitting here talking and I can't I can't like do my makeup and talk at the same time I don't know how these beauty people do it. I'm like <laughs> I'm like what am I doing like I'm getting sidetracked uh, Guess I can't multitask when it comes to this I could never be a makeup artist or like a hairstylist because I would like forget how to do my job I'd be talking to them and like I Don't know. I feel like it would just be a disaster. Okay, so I'm just using my Old Reliable Lash Sensational by Maybelline, and I just put a couple of coats, not coats, well, I just like go in a little bit to give it like a nice full flutter, um, but just one coat of mascara just to keep it natural, keep it nice. Is anyone else sad that they can't like really wear lipstick anymore because we have to wear masks? Um, let me know if where you live if you still have to wear a mask because around here you do it's still mandatory I think it will be until they get a vaccine under control but who knows I mean I know as much as anyone else does so who knows but yeah obviously I'm not a big lipstick person anyway but I was loving um, Super State Ink Crayons by Maybelline. Like, I love this one. I just got this one. I think it's in Lead the Way, number 15. This is like the perfect nudie pink color, and I'm going to wear this for my engagement shoot. Which, by the way, it was postponed. I'm so sad, but the weather got in the way. It was going to be like really crappy weather. There was like a hurricane like rains that came in and I didn't want my photographer driving in bad weather because she's kind of coming from a distance so we rescheduled it the um the shoot for Thanksgiving weekend so I think it'll be one day that weekend maybe like a Saturday just to like give her time to drive and not have to worry about like I don't know weather so I'm still looking forward to it I'm just a little nervous because the dress I'm wearing is spaghetti strap and it's probably gonna be freezing cold, but um, the photos will probably be just like an hour long. So I can totally stick it out. I mean, I've posed in like 50 degree weather wearing a bikini before. You just do what you gotta do. Um, I want beautiful photos. I want my body to be shown off. So I want to wear a nice little dress. You guys saw it in my Shein haul. It's the green spaghetti strap dress with like a high slit on the leg. Gotta show off that leg. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just like bring a jacket and put it on like right before photos and right after so I don't turn into a complete pop star. Ah! Okay, so I'm just taking like this beauty pack I have here and I'm going to take this light color and just dab it under my eyes to get rid of some of those. I mean, I've actually got quite a bit of sleep lately. I'm like trying to get in as much sleep as possible before I start my full-time job because yeah, I'm going to have to wake up so much earlier and like... I don't know, it's gonna be a lot of work, you know, when like you're learning the ropes of like a new job. And I've been getting like hormonal acne. I, mean, I wouldn't call it acne, I guess. They're just like breakouts because these all go away like once my period is over. But like, I don't know, my periods have been so bad lately. Like really painful. And I'm not sure like why, but um, I've also been getting like PMS breakouts like before my period even starts I've just been getting like like a cluster of I don't even like sometimes they don't even come to a head it just looks like red like redness 
kind of looks like pimples, but they're not big. They're just annoying and they just detract from like my appearance. They're stressing me out. I don't know, maybe like just a lot of things going on and like changing jobs just gives you breakouts and stuff like that. It could be a couple of different things, but I've been trying to use essential oils a lot more. Um, I just got like a peppermint one. As I heard, the pepper peppermint oil keeps spiders away. Um, I hate spiders so much and we get them in our buy level like in the downstairs area and they freak me out. My fiance hates them too. Um, but yeah, I mean I love the way peppermint smells. Um, but I've been using like lavender and eucalyptus and tea tree and I feel like that's really helping to like de-stress and calm me. Especially at night we have one next to our bed like a little um, what do you call it? <laughs> The words escaping me at the moment. Um, I've been getting a lot, of, a lot lately too. Like just like I'm just so foggy lately. I don't know why. Like I just feel like I can't talk or speak. Cause like I don't know. I just feel like I'm struggling to like think of things and or like I don't know get my words straight. Um, let me know if you've been struggling with that lately. I'm not sure if it's the quarantine or if I'm just dying. No, okay. Um. Hopefully, but yeah, that's basically it guys. That is this is my makeup. This is my go-to Everyday makeup. Sometimes I do like a little wing um, with eyeshadow. I didn't do that today But sometimes I'll jazz it up and just add like um, not with eyeliner with a brown eyeshadow Just like a little wing and I'll flick it out But this is basically it since we wear masks. I don't put on any blush. I don't put on any foundation um, so I just focused on the eyes and the brows, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed listening to me jabber on. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you would like to see in the future. I want to start doing some like Q and A's or like fun little games like with my fiance, get him involved. Still have to do his makeup too. We have to find a time for me to do that and for him to be actually willing to have makeup put on his face. So that is still in the works, um, so stay tuned for that. And until I see you guys in my next video, bye!